All right, before you get started, make sure that you have a double length of thread knotted on the end twice to make sure that it'll stay put. Now you're going to put your squeaker inside. You might have to pull a little bit of stuffing out of the toy to make room for the squeaker. Remember these weren't stuffed thinking a squeaker was going to go inside. So just reach in there, make a little room, stuff it in. If you want, you can put a little bit back in, but you don't have to. So here's how you'll get started with stitching. You'll go to the bottom, the very bottom, and make sure you're covering the entire slit here. So go to the very bottom and start about a quarter of an inch out from the slit. Go through to the other side about the same distance and pull it all the way through to the knot holds. That's important, you wanna pull it all the way to the knot. Now, since we started on this side, we're going to go in that side the whole way up. It's called a whip stitch, it's just a, it's just a little loop. So pull it through and as you tighten it, you can see that it pulls the two sides together. But you do wanna stay that quarter of an inch out and just continue up keeping them close enough together that you're going to keep that squeaker and stuffing in place if a little bit of the stuffing is sticking out no big deal and again this doesn't have to be perfect the uh, dogs won't care your main goal is to keep the squeaker inside and if you have a stitch that you feel more comfortable using feel free to use it. We just offer this as a really easy way to get started. And uh, it looks kind of nice. We like to think of this stitch as representing the spay and neuter scar that we wanna see on all animals. Now, to end it, after you've done your last stitch and you have closed up the entire slit, you're just going to make a knot, try to hold it as close to the body of the toy as possible. I just put my finger on it to do that. Make a double knot just for a little bit of extra hold. And you're done.